Hi, I'm so excited. Drew, I can't wait to tell you about this because you're not going to believe the story behind this recipe and that book and everything else. I know you're doing recipes. I wanted to just tell you that I have this little book. It's called Cry Life Cook. It's got all my family recipes in it. And it also has tons of stories of how I grew up and how important family is. And oh, it's just all about love and peace and joy. And there's such a story behind it. But first, I'm going to make something for you. It's called Chichi Ensalata, and it's so easy. I'm going to try to, like, put this this way so you can see. All right, so here's my chichi beans, right? So you just put, like, a cup and a half of chichi beans in the bowl. And then you take some uh, cut-up tomatoes. I like to use the little cherry tomatoes or the grape tomatoes. And then you, I'd rather have a green pepper, but all I had was yellow peppers and and red peppers, so I added a little celery so we could have some green. And then, oh, and by the way, I, I grew this uh, basil, and you go like this, see, and it, it all the flavor releases from the basil, and it goes right in your salad nice. I got a little salt and pepper there, too. Of course, you gotta have fresh garlic and olive oil, and it better be good olive oil. Oh my God, I love the garlic. I said the garlic, I should make it the whole thing so good. And a, a little bit of lemon, huh? a fresh lemon from a lemon tree. All right, all you do is <laughs> you mix it up. Look how beautiful it is. It is a beautiful, beautiful salad, and it is so, so good. And so easy. All my recipes from the book are that easy, that simple, and that beautiful. Because Italian people, we got to have, our stuff has to be beautiful. But the reason I'm sending you this video is to tell you the story behind this book. I wrote the book. Two weeks later, I got an unsolicited email from some guy in Switzerland that I didn't even know. His name was Salvatore, and he said, I believe I am your cousin. And I figured he must have an accent of some sort. And uh, so I deleted it because I don't have no cousins in Switzerland, right? So he kept on, and he was very persistent. And finally I said, listen, buddy, don't, don't email me anymore because I don't have any cousins in Switzerland. I don't have many families in Switzerland. He said, but I am from Amarani. And Amarani is town in Italy where I'm from, where my family's from, where my grandparents were born. So I freaked out because Amarani is not any place anybody would know about. So I asked him more questions, and here's the thing. This man was trying to find his Conti relatives. My name's Yvonne Conti. For 10 years, his father died, and on his deathbed, he gave him a box, and in the box was all these pictures of our family, and he said, Find these people, they're good people, and they're in America. Their name is on the back. But there was no address, no telephone number, nothing. So Salvatore put the names in the in the search engine, and hundreds and thousands of counties came up all over the United States. He didn't know which one was which. And then one day, he put the name Amarini, and he put the name Conti, and this book came up number one in the search. Well, still, how does that prove that he's my cousin? Well, because this is my, I found this picture in my father's stuff. I don't know these people. They croaked in Italy before I was even born. But this is my great-great-grandfather, my great-great-grandmother, and my great-aunt Mary. And this woman, my great-aunt Mary, my grandfather's sister, is Salvatore's grandmother. I freaked out. I'm like, are you kidding me? I got on a plane. I went to Switzerland. I couldn't wait to meet Salvatore. And this is, Sal oh, it's not Salvatore. Wait, I couldn't wait to meet Salvatore. This is Salvatore and Monica and their children in Switzerland. He's the guy that um, contacted me. I immediately went to Switzerland and I met the most wonderful people. Oh my gosh, I have such beautiful family, right? And then we got on a plane. He took me to Southern Italy and I met 56 cousins that I didn't even know existed. And they all look like my cousins here in the United States. The best part is I got to go to the very house where my grandfather was born. That's the doorway to the house where my grandfather was born. One of my aunts lives there now. Oh my gosh, this was just such an amazing story. I got to swim in the ocean, I'll tell you what. Oh my gosh, and then Aunt Pina taught me how to make risotto, and then 
all my cousins taught me how to make homemade macaroni. And oh my gosh, we had so much fun. And they love me and they treat me just like gold. Oh my gosh, I love these people so much. And this one here cracked me right up. Oh my God. And, and oh, the people. So here's the deal. I've been to Italy now three times. I've had wonderful vacations with these people and they've come to the United States. And the first time they came to the United States, we had a huge family reunion. We had 87 people from eight or nine different states and two countries that came to our family reunion. We had a big Italian explosion. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. So wonderful to reunite with family like that, that we didn't even know still was over there. We just figured Maybe there wasn't anybody left in that small town. So it's the reason I'm telling you all this is, is because I didn't even want to write this book. I, I was kind of forced into writing it because people kept asking me for recipes. And I thought, uh, I'll put them in a book. They won't bother me anymore. Which, by the way, as soon as I told my mother I was putting my recipes in the book, she said, and nobody's going to come to visit you. If you don't even know recipe, you give them away. Eh, why should they come to your house? Which kind of encouraged me to write the book. No, that's just a joke. But, um... I didn't want to write it. And I did. And the, the thing of it is, look what happened because I stepped forward and did something that I might not have done if I wasn't pushed. So, you know, use this time that everybody has now because everybody's got more time than they have brain cells to do something interesting and different because you never know the door that's going to open. I'm so happy. And by the way, oh, not yet. By the way, I wanted to wish you all the luck in the world. I love your show, and I think the, the world needs humor, laughter, joy, and, and uh, you are certainly the uh, picture of that. So God bless you, sweetheart. You're a little doll. I just love you. Oh, 